All right, this is a kombucha squash. This is a perfectly ripe persimmon. Now, what do you think perfectly ripe persimmon and a kombucha and a $2 knife have in common? Come and watch. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living. Kombucha squash, one cup. Achia persimmons are mouth-puckingly tart unless extremely ripe. Ripe achias are unbelievably soft and are often almost liquefied into a smooth pulp inside. You can tell the difference between achias and full-use persimmons because achias are elongated and oval-shaped instead of squatted and round. So what's happening is getting later in the season and I'm having some trouble finding my squash used to be able to get them in a 99 cent ranch which is basically an Asian market and why I buy it there it's usually about a dollar less a pound than anywhere else I go so that's something you have to think about so today I'm going to sh show you my two dollar knife that I got from the 99 cent store and I'm going to cut it up and I'm going to show you how I do this and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding persimmon over the kobacha once all cut up and the seeds are removed and we're going to cook it in the oven on parchment paper. Okay, so first let's get started. Now there's nothing new with me cooking kobacha squash. If you've been watching my videos, you know that I've been, I, I cook pumpkin. This kobacha squash is Japanese pumpkin and it's just simply delicious. Okay, so what I do is I use my $2 knife and as you can tell, if you do have a good quality knife, you do have to be careful of this blade right here where my finger is running out because the blade, the hammer is going to touch it. So you want to use this side of the hammer, not this side here which has got all kinds of little pokey things on it because, or you can use a regular hammer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it right down the center and you'd like to have a knife that's a little bit bigger than your kobacha because you're going to need to be hitting it. So it's a little difficult, this one's a lot bigger. Okay, now that's the color you want to see. This is a perfect kobacha squash, there's nothing wrong with it. So what we're going to do next is we're going to remove the seeds, cut it up in little pieces, put it on this pan. We're going to do that next, right now. Phone calls. What we have here in the United States is telemarketers that harass you endlessly. All right, we're going to cut it in half again. And this time, there's no problem with the knife being the diameter See, if I put it this way. I really believe that this is a very good meal. Okay, so we're going to do the other side now. I'm going to cook this in the oven. Okay, so here's some two volunteer seats that popped out. So then what you do, that's my oven saying, I'm ready. Okay, so let me show you real quick. So you set the oven at 350 degrees and this one's all ready. Okay, let's go back to cleaning. Okay, so same thing here. We're just gonna cut across the top. There's no rules on this. If you want to cut it diagonals like this, or you want to cut it like that, there's no rules. It's just, you know, whatever works for you. Okay, so from here, just take the seeds out, you know, like this. We're going to be scraping it next. I like to use basically a simple ordinary um, tablespoon. So what you're doing here, you have fibers in here. You don't want to eat those fibers. And they see they're coming out fairly easy.
So I'm going to be quiet so that we can speed through this. So you guys don't have to watch me scrape every one of these. Then I'll go come back right before I start putting the persimmon on and you can see how I do with that. Okay, it looks a little full, it's because it is. Could I have used a larger tray? Yes, I should have probably used a larger tray. Could I break this down again and change it? I could, but I'm not going to. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna squeeze it in there, it's gonna be just fine. Now what's gonna be a little harder is applying this, the persimmon. All right, so let me explain what, what I'm gonna do with that next. So I'm gonna put this to the side, it's gonna go in the oven soon. Okay, so take your persimmon, and you're going to cut it down the center. And I absolutely love these persimmons. These are just magnificent. Okay, so we see I'm just peeling it off, peeling it back. And this one is very, very ripe. Now I eat the skins of my persimmons. I washed this before I, put, I did this. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to open it up. Okay, get the spoon that you had earlier. And what you're going to do is you're just going to lay some of the persimmon on the very top. They're very ripe. You're not mixing the persimmon, you're just laying this on the top. See if I can move this closer so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, good. It's a little bit different. Just think of this as persimmon jam. The only thing is it's got the natural sweetness and you can do this if this one is very, very ripe. It's because it's very, very sweet. Now another thing you can do, you see how I just laid this huge amount of flesh right down the center? You can do that too. If you do do that, you're going to have to cut it in slices so you have enough room, enough for the rest of it. There's a lot to fill here. For example, I'm just picking it up and I'm just dropping it in there. Alright, and then I'll come back and I'll spread it. Tastes wonderful. Okay, now take your mat because you just clean that off right away. Make sure that your your knife is in a safe place. Nobody can hurt themselves. Now what we're simply gonna do is we're just going to I'm gonna put this the camera over here like this so you can see me put it in into the top rack of the oven. Thank you. 
Okay, so now we're down to our last few seconds. Well, turning off the timer. We're gonna get the steam out of the oven. And we're gonna pull this out. Now you know it's hot, so make sure you're wearing mitts. Just gotta figure out the way to pick it up. Push it all the way back. Close your door. Turn off your power. See no light over here, so you know it's off. Use a fork and it goes straight down and you know it's ready. So all of them are like that. Now let's see what it tastes like. Push this back a bit so I can sneak in a plate. I'm going to grab this one here. Now Turns out the kobacha skin can be eaten. So can the pumpkin skin. Alright, you can take a piece like this. We'll leave this permission for cinnamon behind. Now this is gonna be hot, coming straight out from the oven. Well the squash is perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a piece that I know it has a little bit of persimmon on top. What it's given is a very mild flavor of the persimmon. It's very nice. Now remember this has no salt, no pepper, nothing, just a persimmon that came off the tree. It's a very nice taste. And then if you'd like to add the persimmon. And the persimmon doesn't taste very much like a persimmon anymore because it's infused its flavor into the squash. So I'm going to, I'm going to put this in a large plastic tray. I'll be eating it over the next several days. Just think of this as, as an, a different type of squash side. You could add noodles to this, you could add other vegetables to it. This just gives it another different type of flavor. Thank you for watching and we hope to see you soon. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.